This is a keepsake of your mother, Shia. It was given to her as a present by your father. Does the jewel set in the ring seem familiar at all? I thought it might. It's an Argon heart, obtained by your father. Twint. Long ago, some twenty years previous, a curious Dragovian girl by the name of Jia decided to visit the world of the humans. There, she chanced to meet a young prince named Eltrio. It was love at first sight. But her father, Chen Mui, none other than yours truly, objected. He took Shia back home to the Dragovian sanctuary so that the couple could never meet again. He thought it was the right thing to do. He believed there would never be any way for a Dragovian and a human to build a happy life together. But he was wrong. His foolish decision caused no end of sadness and tragedy for his beloved daughter, Shia. Shortly after Chen Mui forced his daughter back to the sanctuary, a human body was found just outside. It was El Trio. He had fought desperately to find Shia again, but died just before reaching the gates of the sanctuary. The death of her true love wounded Shia to her very soul. She plunged into an inconsolable sorrow. Her life ebbed away from her day by day. One day, even while absorbed in her grief, Shia realized that she was pregnant with El Trio's child. Every single one of the Dragovians objected, but she stood firm and decided to keep the baby. She delivered a healthy baby boy, but in her weakened state, she never recovered from the strain of childbirth and passed away soon after. The Council of Elders convened a discussion to decide what should be done about the half-human, half-Dragovian child. It took several years, but finally, the Council of Elders announced their final decision. The child's memory would be sealed away, and he would be banished from the sanctuary forever. Needless to say, by this time, Chen Mui had changed his mind. He argued against the cruel and closed-minded decision at great length. But the Council of Elders refused to reverse it. Chen Mui cursed himself for his powerlessness. Shortly thereafter, the Lord of the Dragovians used his power to seal away the child's memories, and the boy was expelled from the sanctuary. The boy was Chen Mui's last remaining connection to his only daughter. He knew he could never truly abandon the child. So, Chen Mui begged the Lord of the Dragovians for permission to follow his grandson into the human world. The Lord of the Dragovians told Chen Mui that he would only allow it if Chen Mui disguised his true appearance as a mouse and never spoke directly to the boy. Considering the hardship his grandson would be facing 
as an exile and an orphan, in a top Genmui made up his mind at once. He transformed himself into the likeness of a mouse and chased after the boy as quickly as he could. And now you know the whole story. My apologies for keeping it from you until now. Please forgive this doddering old man. As for the ring, I would like you to have it. I think Shia, your mother, would have wanted it that way. Perhaps you should have another look around the sanctuary. Or would you like to hear the story again? Hardly a surprise, given the length of the tale. Let us make our rounds of the sanctuary and tell everyone of your valiant service to the Dragovian elders. I have a secret to confess. This grave contains not only the worldly remains of El Trio, but of Shia as well. It seemed only right to bury them together after all they had suffered. I erected an empty grave for her in the labyrinth to hide the truth from my people. <laughs> 